Bitcoin has finally got a nice clean break to the upside and in this video I'm going to be explaining exactly what we are looking at next in terms of the targets, why I, yes, am bullishly biased and yes I am expecting higher price targets to be hit. Of course as always I will have an invalidation on that which I will explain to in this video but yeah for now I am bullish and I am expecting higher price targets to come. So that is good news for a lot of people and I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video as we jump back onto what we love the charts together I'll be dissecting all of the information everything in terms of data that we have in front of us and how that leads to the prediction and bias bullishly that I have of these higher price targets to be hit. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy and I'm going to spend the first, I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible. Let's try and get it in 60 seconds uh, of explaining the latest rise, okay, covering that short trade of course that I took mentioned in the last video and what this means next for Bitcoin. So 60 seconds recap. Of course, in that last video, I did short this high right here on Bitcoin. Why was that? It was because of the fake out. As you all know, live in the time as we were breaking out of that triangle, I told my team there is no long trade to be had here. In fact, I'm actually looking for the fake out and the short trades as we were breaking out there on that first attempt. As we all know, that fake out was confirmed. That was a very nice call indeed because anyone that longed here would have shortly been liquidated on that drop to the downside. And, you know, that was just reading the triangle at the time, understanding it's the first break. We got a nice swing failure pattern. You know, there is no long trade, even though it's looking bullish for a lot of people. There were longs opening. I recognized to my team, no long trade, remain short. You know, let's get the fake out, take the short trade. And then, of course, that major important take profit will be, for me, the low of the triangle. We had to wait a few hours. We hit the low of the triangle and we managed to hit that lovely take profit. And that is how you do it in CC pool style, right? Shorting the highs and then take profit at the very low of that move. And other champions actually managing to take their long trades off of the low of that triangle. And as you can see, even holding it right now that long to above $44,000, okay? So that short trade that I took, of course, I am out of that short trade now, but it just goes to show the importance of trading the chart charts, taking those short trades when you've got those signs of weakness and locking in your take profits. Funnily enough, that take profit was the absolute low of the move to bring us now above $44,000. So whether you're taking profits on your shorts, you're opening your longs, a very important level to take it, of course, is at that major take profit back at the low of the triangle. So that is a little bit over 60 seconds, but I wanted to explain that trade and how it obviously concluded because I am, of course, no longer in that. And so the next important thing was after we had finished that sideways triangle, of course, moved on to the sideways range. And let me add on those levels that we were looking at. So we had these two weekly boundaries. So for me, it was no longer really a triangle to be traded. Uh, and that was because I had no more interest in shorts or longs within here. At this moment in time, I was waiting for the high of the range or the low of the range. Okay. As we all know, after the bounce of the low of that triangle, the next one was a move to the upside to where we are above $44,000. And I'll very briefly explain what was going through my thought process here. And as we were coming up to 44K, let's remain patient for the tap of that level. At the same time, simultaneously, we were seeing the stock market S&P 500 ES taking out 5,000 points, which is what we have been predicting and wanting to see that continued strength above 5,000 on the stock market, of course, can be aiding Bitcoin here, as at the same time, simultaneously, we are taking out $44,000. And for me, I was telling my team no short trades to be had. And yes, we are now expecting those higher prices to come. I want to just emphasize the big stark difference here in the first time that we were breaking that triangle and I'm telling my team there is no long trades and we are waiting for the short, which as we know was a correct call with a major drop to the downside versus this attempt of $44,000 weekly and I'm telling my team this time there is no short trades to be had and this time yes we are expecting higher prices to come. Well as we all know now this is 
<laughs> trading above $44,000. So from recognizing no short trades to come, and then about one hour later last night telling my team, no short trades, going to be sleeping here, happily looking for higher prices as we've only got an SOS, which is a sign of strength, okay? So in real time, as we test the very important level, I tell my champion members, no short trades, there's only signs of strength, and we can absolutely expect those higher prices to come. Everybody that was taking those shorts are going to be absolutely stopped out. And of course, we were aware we could get a swing failure pattern, but there was nothing to be had. There was no short trade to be had at all. And you had to remain looking for those higher prices as you got that first test of this level. This is on a five minute chart. This is what it looked like on a one minute chart, even on the one minute straight through the weekly. It was very clean. It was very nice. And it led, you know, pretty simply for me into this bullish bias that I have. So that is a five minute recap of the first um, you know, section of the chart. And now we're going to move on, of course, to what we are looking at next. As mentioned, I do have a bullish bias on this chart and I am expecting higher prices to come. Let me just remind you of something very quickly before we move on to that section. And this will be the middle section of the announcements. And really simply on this one, all I want to remind you of is the competition that we have running on the website right now. This is only for champion members. You can see everybody, a lot of champions making some pretty nice profits, as you can see. Um, and so if you want to join this competition, we are currently at the unlock stage of a prize pool. Every single month, we run a trading competition free to join. OK, uh, you just have to be under the Bybit affiliate link that we run and it is a free competition to join, um, you know, along with your champion membership. And with this, you get access to a competition which runs every month where we will be giving away up to fifteen thousand dollars every month giveaway. The more people that join, the more the prize pool unlocks. So you can be trading well, for example, Tamar right now winning with a 57% gain on his account. And he's also going to be walking away with a bonus of 400 USDT for finishing in first place, if he finishes in first place at the end of the month. But you can see top five get prizes. And this is a nice way for us to, you know, give back uh, even more to the people that are learning, educating themselves well, and then, you know, trading very nicely alongside it. So if that's of interest to you, this is a you know, this is a competition that we've ran for a while, but we've changed the structure of the prizes now. So we are always going to be guaranteed to giving away uh, prize money. So if you're interested in that, you know where to get it via chartchampions.com. Of course, the only thing you need to be aware of is you need to, of course, be a champion and via the affiliate links. And as always, we will leave the best deals that we can get you for Bybit, a VPN, which is always recommended, right? Uh, so for Bybit, VPN, Bing X, these are my two main crypto exchanges, of course. And now we got the prop firm, which we got a 70% discount running right now. So if that's of any interest to you, Bybit, Bing X, or a prop firm top step, along with the VPN, those are always going to be the best deals that we can achieve for you left in the deals section of the website. So that's enough of that. Back to the charts and what I am looking at next. So as mentioned, I am bullish and I am expecting higher prices to come. What I'm looking at here really nicely is this. Actually, I want to start off by looking at this kind of ABC could be the start of a one, two, three on the Elliott waves because we got this move to the upside impulse. OK, nice five wave structure. And then we went sideways in this type of triangle structure. Right. And we know, simply put, whether we're looking at Elliott waves and we can be looking for that impulse, or we simply are looking for continuation from a symmetrical triangle. We've got a very nice target based off of this. And this is when we pull the length of A down to B. First target, of course, will be the one to one. That actually comes in at $47,600. Really nice confluence with the daily NPOC that you have there at 47,850, right? So we've got this really nice one to one zone. Uh, lining up at around 47k. Of course, prior to that, we do have some very important levels around $46,000 that we cannot forget because that would be a little bit naive to forget that at $46,000. Because if you remember correctly, uh, of course, I showed you in a previous video the breakout that you would have from this triangle target coming in at around 45,000. Let's just say $45,700. 
So everything right now is leading me to expect higher prices to come, whether that is just to $46,000 or whether we can push up to the bigger target of the 1618 extension. And actually we look for a start of a one, two, three in terms of Fibonacci. And we've actually just started to form a bit of an impulse here, which would actually come up really nicely indeed on that big, big weekly target that we have above $50,000 at 50,700. Let's just say up to $51,000. So yeah, right now for me, that is exactly what I'm looking at next. Okay. In terms of my bias, so let me just explain this to you. I really want you to just understand in your brain. I am bullishly biased. I am expecting higher prices to come. I am not taking short trades here. Okay, I am reading the data and the charts that I have in front of me like you have in front of yourself. Of course, everybody in the world looks at the same chart in front of them. But from that, you're going to get a thousand different opinions on what's going to happen. I can only in this video tell you my opinions, my predictions, my biases. And then with that information, of course, you can use this however you would like. But yeah, really simply put, I am bullishly biased. I'm not taking any short trades here and I am expecting those higher price targets to be hit. If those higher price targets get hit and we end in a bearish reaction, of course, I can take a short trade. And that would be based off of a lower term time frame entry trigger, which is a, you know, a, a big lesson in itself. And, you know, these are all theories that we teach via our website. So if any of this that I've gone through today is confusing to you. If you don't understand, just know I teach everything that I talk about over on chartchampions.com, right? So you can educate yourself and just everything makes sense. You need to be at that level. Otherwise, you, you are probably going to lose a lot of trades through simply not being at the level you need to be to be a successful trader. And that does take time, dedication with your education, of course. So, yeah, that is what I'm looking at in terms of the charts, my personal bias, the targets that we can have above us. Again, there are a few, right? We got, first of all, the one-to-one -one of the triangle in terms of the length of the triangle expanded to $46,000 where we have that weekly NPOC, right? Moving on to the one-to-one -one and the much bigger target, honestly, that we have up here around the 1618 and how that sits nicely on the weekly and the top of that CC, right? So these are big targets that I have. And, you know, oh no, I would love to see that hit. But as always, I am a level to level trader. If I get a bearish reaction, I will take the trade. But if we continue with these signs of strength, then I'm going to be continuing, as I posted yesterday, to the champion members, expecting higher prices to come. And for me, no short trades to be had. Going to sleep in no short trades waking up to lovely rises to the upside. So I hope that you really truly understand this. I always just love to emphasize and repeat myself because of how I need to integrate it into your brains, okay? I'm bullish, I'm looking for higher, I'm not taking short trades here. If we go up and we hit my upper targets and I get a bearish reaction, of course I can take a hedge. But for now, that's not the case. And I am looking at this as a sign of strength and looking for higher prices to come. If we hit those higher price targets and we get a bearish reaction, I will take a short. Otherwise, we'll continue to look up above to 50 plus thousand dollars. Invalidation, of course, is coming back down below this weekly level for a failed auction, which is not happening as we speak. So thank you ever so much, everybody. I truly hope this has made sense. I love what I do, and I hope that I can help you every step of the way along your trading journey. If you want more from myself, you know where to get it via chartchampions.com. If you want to check out the prop firms and the new deals, you know where to get it, along with the whole educational library that we have spent years building now on the platform. So I'm going to wrap there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. We're just about to start the altcoin weekly update, which is an altcoin live stream every single week. So that's about to start. I'm going to jump over onto the altcoins uh, and watch that one. So thank you ever so much. <laughs> Let's see what alts 
setups we have coming up this week and I hope that you thoroughly enjoy if you're going to be watching along with that that's generally a profit maker so uh, it's pretty much a must watch thank you ever so much everybody and I'll catch you over on the website cheers thank you and that's me signing out goodbye <laughs>